about to watch this too. All right, we got a... <laughs> 9 holes even though I played 9 holes uh, I only videoed probably like half of the holes just because it was super windy and I was in a hurry trying to race daylight but uh, hopefully you guys liked the video um, had some interesting holes and some pretty big bombs so hopefully you guys liked the video alright so on the first hole I was trying to play a cut with my driver and didn't really cut it, but I kind of got a lucky break. I was on the cart path and took a drop. I had a buck 24, but I had a tree my way. So I just hit a 54 degree, kind of opened it up a little bit, hit it as hard as I could. And it was about 18 feet on the back right portion of the green. Uh, I had a decent look at birdie and this is the putt. First putt in a month. See the result of this drive. I blasted this one. Um, so this is a par five. Good God. It's not even really downwind. It's just crosswind. Five eighteen. Okay, I'm on some other stuff here. Bro, I swear you guys can't even fuck with me. I don't even practice, bro. God. I should have never quit fucking playing golf, man. I would have been a professional a long time ago. I swear to God. So, fun fact about this casino. This is Binion's. I used to have a, a million dollars in cash just sitting out on this table. I mean, it was enclosed in glass. You need to take a picture with it. But I guess they got rid of it. But, uh... So I was playing a poker tournament here. Oh, it was probably like three or four years ago. It was a $200 entry tournament. And we got down to the final seven. 
and there was 1.4 million chips total and I had half the chips on play. I had like 700,000 and they wanted to do a chip shop but I didn't want to take anything less than first place money which was 4,000 and so they did the numbers on the chip shop and I got 4200 $200 more than first place all because the other six players wanted the chopper. I was like, deal. Idiots. The drive on five, I hooked it a bit and I had like 164 yards and I had that one tree that's over there on the left right in my way, but it was kind of downwind and crosswind. So I decided to just aim way right. I mean like way right, like 20 yards right of the green and just play a big hook right the wind. and. I ended up drawing it too much and I ended up chipping in for birdie. I was like whole high and I had like probably like 10, 15 yards. I just flopped it up there right on the edge of the green and just rolled right in. It was crazy. So number six, it was straight downwind, and it was like 194, and I decided to play a pitching wedge, and it was a little bit short, didn't quite get up and down, didn't hit a great chip, it was okay, I had like probably like, I have like 12 feet maybe I think, and so then we come to number seven, so Number seven, obviously we got out of bounds on the right where the driving range is at, but the wind was going severely right to left. So I just decided to try and play uh, just a tiny cut up in there, just try and fight the wind. And uh, here's what happened. See if I can drop a long bomb. It's gonna snake left, right to left for uh, eagle. It's 15 paces, but I gotta play it out like clear on this knob right here. It's gonna break a ton. I just barely missed that eagle putt. It was turning there real nice and just broke too much of that right. That's how you play number seven at Chimera.
him, but ended up making a little birdie putt coming back. So uh, at this point, I was one under. And number eight is straight downwind. And roll the footage on that one. Smoke. So the first ball went like about three fifty, and the second one went about four fifteen or something like that. I blasted it. Wow. All right, I got a one forty nine, but I'm gonna try and muscle a fifty four. Downwind, and I probably got a little bit of flyer life. I need a freaking 50. Yeah, that's a 414 yard drive. Par five. Yeah, that just happened. All right, 85 yards downwind to a front pin location. I'm gonna play a 60, I'm gonna open the play. Eagle and about 10 yards, not too hard of a chip shot.
I was a little bit disappointed that I left that first putt short for Eagle. I mean, I probably would have missed it on the, on the high side. It didn't break as much as I thought it was. I hadn't really had that putt yet, right there on the front edge of the green. But uh, I made sure that I wasn't gonna miss this other one, or I wasn't gonna leave this other one short. And this right here, I had a really good read on it. And as soon as I hit it, this is one of the reasons why I do the no look putting. And I really encourage you guys to try it out because when you know your read and you hit, uh, you put a good stroke on the ball, man, it's just like, the, the cup just seems so big. It's so fun. You gotta try it out. All right, well, I'm not gonna film number nine just because it's so windy and it's just taking so much time. And I'm kind of fighting daylight, but uh, shot two under through eight holes, four birdies, two bogeys, two bogeys that I shouldn't have had, but uh, it's whatever. I haven't been playing much, so, you know, take it hope you guys enjoyed this short little video piece oh yeah forgot to mention uh don't be afraid to shoot a comment in the video down below uh be sure to like the video please it helps out the channel a ton also uh subscribe if you haven't done that and also helps out the channel a ton thanks for watching guys take it easy all right guys that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna go ahead and uh jump in this little poker game back here uh hopefully we can run it up a little bit uh, again, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody that watches and likes and comments and, uh, you know, supports the channel. It really helps out a ton. You know, um, I'm not a really big social media person. I'm kind of camera shy, so I'm still getting used to it. It's a little awkward just talking to a camera, you know, like I'm pretending like I'm talking to everybody, you know, so, um, you know, I don't bite. Feel free to comment. I will definitely respond to all your comments. Uh, if you want to trash talk me, that's fine. I don't mind, you know, a little good nature of trash talking. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, let me know if you guys uh, have any ideas for uh, what you want me to do in the future as far as vlogs go or uh, matches. I really like playing matches, honestly. Um, it's kind of why I haven't really been vlogging much or even playing just because I kind of don't really have a desire to vlog unless I'm playing a match just because I don't know that's just the competitive nature in me but uh I'm gonna keep trying to vlog and you know hopefully we'll get to the uh monetization point eventually uh still got a ways to go so uh all the watch time you guys are doing helps out a ton um so yeah hope you guys have a great evening and uh we'll see you out on the course hopefully peace